What is your best storyline this this week? The return of Matthew Stafford to the city of Detroit, but this time he is the enemy. It's weird. Like, I personally wouldn't boo him. Like if I was there, I wouldn't boo him. If people boo him, I'm not mad, but I wouldn't boo him. Like Matthew right. Stafford put his back, his body, everything on the line. Every time I'm battle, man, he's been a really nice guy. So I'm really happy for him. Um, I think after winning the Super Bowl, it would be nothing better for him than him to get his ass kicked by Detroit. But if golf wins, <laughs> then he is, would he have taken me done more? If golf wins is one game, we have done more for the Detroit Lions than Matthew Stafford. Oh man, that's a very because I'm a Jared Goff apologist. I've been a Jared Goff apologist um, all the way back to the. I Rams. mean, I think Jared Goff is extremely underrated. I okay. think that if you look at Lions players, Jared Goff winning the first round that just shows you how bad the Lions have been. If he was to win this game, he would literally be in the top five Lions players of all time. It's the Lions, man. We only got five motherfuckers. Jay, can you name five Lion players from the past right now? No. Four, not five. Exactly. Yes, you can. That's he's, he's asking you because you're Grandpa Jay and you were around when they started. Yeah. <laughs> and the he's running a winning championship. He was a DB on the Lions. 